What's going on guys? So I am out here during the Elkhart open house. This is a dealer open house in Elkhart, Indiana. So this is essentially where the dealers go to pick their inventory and see if they want to pick up new brands as well. And the folks at Alliance in their new building four or plant four have set up a really, really cool display with a lot of their toy haulers, fifth wheels and travel trailers. And the specific model of Alliance that most people are very familiar with is the Paradigm, but this is a very special Paradigm. We'll talk about it. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so you all know I'm a big fan of mid-bunks, right? This is the new mid-bunk in the Paradigm lineup, and when I say new, they've done some really, really cool things, but they've also done some things that when they first came out with their mid bunk, they didn't put a slide in it and they've put a slide in this one, but they've done it in a very creative way. And I actually really like it. So uh, let's, let's first look at the numbers and we'll come back around and we'll take a look at the interior so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So gross vehicle weight rating is 16,800 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 2,412 pounds, G rated tires, twin 7,000 pound axles, Pretty good setup. And the folks over at Alliance are doing a lot of things right, especially with their frame and their suspension. So um, I can definitely say that when you buy an Alliance, you're typically looking at an RV that's equipped very well from a capacity perspective. And we talk about 14,000 pounds worth of axle capacity because about 3,000 pounds is gonna rest on the back of your vehicle. So whenever we talk about what the actual capacity of the axles are gonna carry, it's not gonna be the full 16,800 pounds. So we have to be aware of that. Just like your pickup truck, your rear axle and your front axle distribute the weight. Just like an RV, the rear axles right here act as like the rear axle of your pickup truck, whereas the back of your pickup truck acts as the front axle. So that said, we're going to take a closer look inside of this. But before we do it, since we're passing this absolutely enormous storage area, let's see what's going on here. So you have this huge pass-through storage, motion detection light, which I really like. A lot of storage here, and I love how they've set this up. This does ride on a 101-inch wide-body frame, and this is super cool. So they introduced this feature right here, actually in their new Delta Series travel trailers, and they've now brought it to this fifth wheel. This is your slide out controls and awning controls. So now from the outside of your RV, you can extend and retract your awnings individually and your slide out. So if you're parked next to a tree, I can simply stand right here. I can extend or retract that slide out and see specifically how close I am to a tree. Same with my awnings. I think that is brilliant. It's so simple, but it defines what makes Alliance special. The fact that they think outside of the box and they do things that their owners, their allies actually request, things that they think will make their RVing life and experience a little bit better. I love the thick baggage doors, dual steel slam latches, and this is a cool spot as well. So you could use this for all sorts of different things, including perhaps an outside kitchen, something like that. But it's extra storage and it's in a really good place. So let's say you want to pack up for a trip. You can take all your bags and luggage and you can throw them in right here. And then when you get where you're going, you simply bring them into the RV. So you can leave for a trip much quicker as opposed to having to climb up the stairs, load everything into the room, load everything into a space that a slide out isn't going to take up when it's in. That's the key. So you end up stuffing everything into the mid bunk, into the front bedroom area, into the hallway. But when you have something like this, you simply open this up, throw your luggage in here. Then when you get where you're going, you bring it into the RV itself. So you can get on the road quicker. Six point level up hydraulic leveling system. Over here, we have our Cree 3000 Moride suspension. And oh, let me see something here. Okay, so it does have the half inch thick shackle straps and it does have greasable wet bolts. Okay, so we're gonna step up the solid step from LCI. Asdell construction on the side walls right here into this 380 MP. And the previous MP stood for multi-purpose room. So this is still in essence a multi-purpose room, but they've made some changes to it. We'll take a look at those. So as we go inside, I have always liked the color tones and the way things look when you do contrasting tones in an RV. I love the white right here, that cream color, and how it mixes with the browns. I really think this stands out. If everything was the same color, I definitely wouldn't think it's as appealing, but I really like what they've done here. Coming around this way, they give you a spot for a coffee maker. So you got power here. I feel like they've heard my pleas that you have to have a spot for a coffee maker, and they've dedicated a spot here for a coffee maker, which I really like. Really nice pantry, motion detection lighting, adjustable shelves, love it. 
soft closing cabinet door. Very nice drawers. These are not soft closing drawers, but they extend very nice, very well and smooth. Over here, you have more adjustable drawers or shelves. You have the Norcold refrigerator in here. So this is a 12 volt, huge refrigerator. And it has the freezer underneath. Freestanding dinette. You have two seats that'll probably be under the bed. If if any manufacturer does this flush floor system perfectly, it's the folks at Alliance. It just looks really good. You really can't tell where the slide out stops and the regular floor begins. I really like that. You have your Corian solid surface countertop. Huge windows, right? These are those um, super cool atrium windows. Just absolutely large. They give you the biggest windows you could probably put here. And I love even how they give you the bigger windows here and it extends down. And these windows end where the top of the chairs end. Nice armrest in between. These are electric chairs. I think you get massage and you get heat on these chairs. Of course, you get your cool flip-up end tables. You get power USB down there as well. You have cabinet storage up here and they backlit this little area right here. It's just cosmetic, but it definitely looks really nice. All mag magnetic holds for all of your cabinets. Really nice solid wood valances. And you have your blackout shades and your daytime shades as well. TV already mounted, and this is a smart LED TV. You have a really cool storage behind the fireplace, super wide panoramic fireplace. And again, you pull that out, you got a lot of storage back behind there. You got some storage above as well. And I believe this TV even comes out. So you actually have a little bit of storage back here on the sides if you want to put something there as well. All right, stepping over here, nice bottom trim lighting. Got a drawer right there. Another one right here. I kind of wish this top drawer was a shallower drawer and then a little bit larger drawer and a much larger drawer at the bottom. Got a lot of space here. Again, I really like the contrasting tones here. I think that really looks bold and it stands out. Cabinets on each side, plenty of prep space on each side of your Insignia residential style stove. And then over here you have your residential microwave. Okay, they color code all their wiring, which is really nice. If you ever have a problem, you can trace it back pretty easily. So all your wires are essentially a different color. I love the LED light strip going around as well. And I really love the center light accent. This just looks really, really nice. They did a great job with that. Okay, so stepping into the multi-purpose room or mid-bunk room is what you typically call this. So check this out. This is really cool. So you have a sofa here and this turns into a bed. You have a ladder here because you have a loft. Nope, not because of that. It's because of a cool feature that this controls. So this has a Euro loft. Check that out. I really like that. This is a feature that I've never seen in a mid bunk space on a fifth wheel. Um, and I just absolutely love how this is executed. Very, very nice. And it's just controlled from here. So this is what the ladder is used for. You hook it right here to get on top of the Euroloft. And then again, you have sleeping space here. Huge window right here. And when this is down, you can actually see how the window is shared for both the top and the bottom space. You have your desk right here as well. That's a big focus from the folks over at Alliance is to give you a really nice seated area. You have a nice little closet there. Drawers down here, smart TV right there, and you have a loft above. It's not a huge loft. I actually think they probably could have extended it out a little bit further, uh, maybe another eight inches or so. Then it would have made it a much more practical size. But the problem you'd run into is the slide out here, when it comes in, it would hit it. So that's the challenge that they were dealing with, is how do you fit a loft in here when a slide out has to also come into this space? And also work with the Euro loft. So the Euro loft is up. Of course, you need that height. But it's super cool that they have a loft in here in the first place. If you have small kids or a small child, this would probably be a favorite place for them. This is done this way for another reason too. That AC vent dumps straight in from the top of the unit now. So you don't need to have an intricate kind of ducting system to get cool air into your, your mid-bunk room. So they've bumped this off the wall. It probably takes pressure off of the wires by doing it. Makes it a little bit more serviceable, but you can see all your controls are here. They still have their resin poured handle and you can get this equipped with the generator. Stepping up, 
this is that loft space. It's great for a small child, but um, you know, you could probably be upwards of about five feet tall and comfortably fit in this space. But there's a connection at the end for a TV. Then you have your ladder to get you on top. A nice rolling door here for your bathroom space. Really nice epoxy poured countertop. Porcelain foot flush toilet with soft closing lid. Beautiful cabinetry in here. I love how they've backlit it in this area. Beautiful shower. Folks at Alliance have always done a great job with these showers. Nice seating area in here also. Coming into the bedroom. You have your closet at the end, mirrors on the end, king size bed, MCD, day night roller shades. You have end tables that come off of the end of the trim, which I really like. USB and 110 outlets as well. Over here, you still get your hidden storage, which is really nice. And then you got your drawers here as well. These magnetic holds they put on are super strong. You got your doorstop, TV mounted in place. It is a smart TV. Okay. Swinging around this way. Let's open up one of your closet doors. A lot of room in here. I believe you have connections. Yep, right back there for washer dryer. And then on this side is where you put your dryer. So your washer and then your dryer. And then all your shoes. Nice hanging rack right here for any of your clothes. Super, super cool unit. What do you guys think? I am a, I'm actually a big fan of this new mid bunk. They've done a really good job here while still maintaining a loft because this is a great place for a child to sleep and they can still talk to and play with the kids that are in there. Even though you don't have complete isolation like you have at like say an hour floor plan, it's still a very, very nice setup. But I'm a big fan of this floor plan. I really like it. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite mid bunk floor plans now. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.